and the heat continues this week. We're going to be 90 or better all week long. Gradually, we'll see an increase in the humidity as well. And look how the heat really intensifies during the latter portion of the week and into next weekend, upper 90s to near 100 degrees. That will be the actual temperature. The heat index will be a few degrees higher than that, especially as the humidity begins to go up. So tonight we're just looking at a few clouds passing on by generally partly cloudy skies overnight. Notice a couple of showers popping to the south and west. That's that warm front that will be lifting north and tomorrow we'll see a few storms fire across the I 81 corridor and up in the mountains, but nothing here in central and eastern Virginia should be a quiet day. A few clouds from time to time, but a decent amount of sunshine as well. Definitely a hotter day and you can kind of see that ridge just building the flow around it is clockwise. So we see a uh, south to southwesterly wind flow around here and the heat is just going to continue to build. We'll stay in the low, maybe mid 90s at times through the midweek period and especially late week into next weekend is when the heat will be most intense. We do have some action going on in the tropics. A couple of areas that we're watching. This one is an area where uh, low pressure could develop over the next couple of days just northeast of the central Bahamas. Chances of development about 30%. This system is likely to impact Florida right now. The best bet central Florida late in the week with at least a decent shot of some rain. This other system in the southwest Gulf of Mexico has a good chance at developing into at least a tropical depression during the course of the coming week. Our chances of development at 70 percent. So yes, it's hurricane season and we'll be keeping you posted on any further developments.